What's up guys? Once again, this is Laura RN and welcome to our science class. In this video, I'm going to show you how one's lifestyle can affect the functioning of the respiratory and circulatory system, which is also another science competency. Previously, we learned about the respiratory and circulatory system and how they work together as a system. To learn more about our lesson for today, you are expected to identify the given picture whether it is a respiratory or a circulatory disease. Are you ready? Number one, asthma, respiratory or circulatory disease. Correct, it's a respiratory disease. Number two, increased blood pressure or hypertension. Correct, it's a circulatory disease. Number three, stroke or cardiovascular accident. Correct, it's a circulatory disease. And lastly, tuberculosis. Alright, the correct answer is a respiratory disease. Now, what are the causes of this respiratory and circulatory diseases? Very good. It's our unhealthy lifestyle. Because of unhealthy lifestyle, it weakens our body system and increases our risk of acquiring diseases. Number one is cigarette smoking, which is very common among our adults nowadays. Try to look at the picture what the cigarette smoking can cause to your body. Like the smoker's body. It damages all the organs in your body. So, while it's too early, quit smoking. Number two is bad eating habits. Commonly, we eat junk foods and other foods that are not necessary in our body. And number three, poor or lack of exercise that can lead to obesity or underweight. And how are we going to take good care of our respiratory and circulatory system? And always have... Very good. We should always have a healthy lifestyle. Why do we need to have always a healthy lifestyle? Because it less our chances of acquiring diseases. That's number one. Number two, less stress. And lastly, a happy life. How to take care of our respiratory and circulatory system? It's necessary because we have to protect our respiratory and circulatory system. Let's talk number one. Balanced diet, you have to eat variety of foods, eat nutritious foods, avoid junk foods and processed foods, and carbonated drinks and alcoholic beverages. Instead, eat a balanced diet, eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. Next is have a regular exercise. Even in these hard times of pandemic, you still have to do regular exercise like jumping jacks, squats, push up, and many more. Because of this regular exercise, it can lessen your vulnerability or chances of acquiring diseases. At the same time, it increases your bone and muscle strength. Next is have enough sleep and rest because during the night time, our body system also rests. Even our respiratory and circulatory system are working during this time but they are not pressurely doing their job because there's no other stimuli during the, unlike in the morning that has too much stimuli. So better have a sleep and earn a strength after the night. Next is stay hydrated. You have to drink at least 8 glasses of water a day to, to prevent heat stroke that is brought by too hot weather. Next is reduce stress. Stress that comes from work, study, and others. Instead, go for a vacation and then enjoy doing something that you love most and find a happy pill. And for this new normal, you have to always wear your face mask in order to prevent acquiring diseases from the environment. And also remember that you have to always wash your hand with soap and water. Washing your hand will help you prevent acquiring bacteria, viruses, and other microorganisms that can cause you harm, especially in your respiratory and circulatory system. Make it a habit to always wash your hands. Next, accordingly, several lifestyle choices can affect a person's risk for developing respiratory and circulatory diseases. Negative lifestyle, 
weakens your system while healthy lifestyle leads to complete wellness. Alright, you did a good job. I hope you learned something today. And that from now on, we are going to take good care of your respiratory and circulatory system. Stay healthy and stay safe for you and for your family. For those who just watched this video, don't forget to subscribe, 